Today we're at Fire Station 13 to spend part of a day with one of Tampa Fire Rescue's newest probationary firefighters, Christian Segovia. Probationary Firefighter Segovia tells us what his experience has been like so far. Uh, I've been on the job since uh, January 6th. I've been at the station for two months now. Uh, it's been a dream. Uh, a lot of action, a lot of, uh, a lot of different kind of calls, EMS calls, fire calls, uh, you name it, they got it over here. Uh, being a rookie is challenging. Um, there's uh, lots of things you have to learn on a daily basis. You have to learn your equipment, you have to uh, just know your crew and uh, how they work and trying to adapt to their system. Uh, the less pleasant jobs would probably be, you know, the, the, the daily maintenance of the, of the fire station, uh, cleaning toilets, urinals, um, doing the dishes uh, before and after and during uh, meals and during the day. Um, being the, trying to be the first person uh, on the engine and being the last out of the engine, uh, being the f last person in bed, making sure uh, the whole station looks good uh, before you go to bed. So that morning, it, it looks good. Oh yeah, being the rookie is always, uh, they always have uh, some waiting for you, you know, right in the beginning of the shift or during the day. Uh, a little hosing, a little getting wet. Um, I remember one time uh, when I was ready for bed, you know how I said we're, we're the last ones? Uh, they flipped my mattress. They had the box spring on top and the mattress down. Uh, I thought that was uh, pretty amusing. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it's, it's all in fun. On February 18th of this year, Tampa Fire and Rescue crews responded to a structure fire at Del Monte's Bistro Lounge. Probationary firefighter Segovia was on shift that day and was on one of the crews that responded to that blaze. That was uh, the biggest fire I've ever, ever seen. Um, we had uh, two ladder trucks shooting at the roof and we had, uh, they called a second alarm and we had more units come in. I was there uh, staging whatever they needed uh, um, of me. and. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a big fire. Day to day. At 10 o'clock, we're going to go up here to Johnson & Johnson. We've got... Captain Baxter reflects on his early days as a firefighter with Tampa Fire Rescue and how those days helped influence him. It was probably the best time of my life. You know, everything's new, exciting. Um, there's still, to this day, I've you know enjoyed the last 11 years, and every day I come to work, I experience something new. But specifically for that first year, uh, it's almost like being a kid in a candy shop. You know, everything that you had dreamed up to that point had come to fruition, and uh, it was your opportunity to experience those things. Every day he comes into work optimistic. He wants to train, he wants to learn the way we do things, uh, which is important. And, and I, I guess most importantly, he feels he understands he's a member of a team or a family. And as a member of the family, um, he understands his role. If you have a good work, a uh, good rookie, that it's intelligent enough to realize that there's an inherent risk to the, to the duties they perform and the profession they've chosen. Um, they take the initiative and uh, they, they desire to train in order to grasp those skills, refine the skills that they've been taught at that point, and to, uh, to learn the tools of the trade to ensure that not only they protect themselves, but the, the crew and, and the citizens they serve. It's almost noon, and Station 13 has been on several calls this morning. Probationary Firefighter Segovia and the rest of the crew don't know what's in store the rest of their 24-hour shift, but you can be sure they'll be ready to respond. For Spotlight Tampa, I'm Henry Williams.
Right? And that's all it is, it's just a, a training environment for him uh, to realize that at all times his head needs to be on a swivel. There's inherent danger in the, the duties he's performed. That includes here at the station with maybe a little bit of water.